when everyone is selling make sure you're buying be a contrarian my friend welcome back guys it's crypto rocko here and in today's video i'll go through the usual bitcoin and cryptocurrency technical analysis i'll talk about the bitcoins guys bitcoin ethereum litecoin ripple and then i'll talk about some of the smaller old coins that might be breaking out previously we've traded link and um, and holo chain quite aggressively and litecoin and we've made some good profits let's see if we can find the next one and make some good money as well so guys uh, this i want to just give you some general advice to start off the video most people do not make money in trading most people lose money you can can look at your trading history or you can look at your friends or check the percentage of people on trading exchanges how but the percentage of people that lose and um, if you try and predict the market exactly and you think it will go up and you you huddle and do all the stuff that you're not meant to do or the stuff that people do people buy when it's going up people buy here and sell at the bottom then you won't make money i try to find high probability setups that i've traded for a while i've back tested years and years worth of data i understand the setups i do my risk management and i trade and i keep educating myself so just a quick advice also guys i had my first uh, student i don't want to call it my student it was someone that came to me to ask some questions we had a first skype call free 30 minute skype call so that was really interesting i'll talk about it at the end of the video i'll get get on with the analysis that you're here for so guys if you looked at my twitter i was looking to play ethereum more than um more than bitcoin so last jump i didn't even buy bitcoin i was mainly buying litecoin and you could see my videos about litecoin from a month ago uh, we've been really profitable again i'm not saying all of my trades have worked so well this year my trading has been going really well with litecoin holo chain and link especially litecoin i played a really big position in litecoin so my next coin I was looking at was Ethereum because Ethereum I believe has got more upside than Litecoin and Ethereum and Bitcoin and you can see guys people are saying it's already bullish because we've had this red bar and I'm not I'm not turning bearish just yet or massively bullish and it, it is because we've had this massive green pump and we are consolidating at this uh, daily 50 moving average we've not broken down we're still above the 382236 we're above our moving averages is a bullish moving average cross so i don't really see the the bearish sentiment as much it's just sideways consolidation if we break down and make higher lows and uh, lower lows and higher lows then i'll i'll change my stance if if you look at the four hourly guys ethereum is forming higher lows and it's very it's forming a tight consolidation pattern and it's above the 200 uh, hour move four hourly moving average as well so it is looking quite good for me and um, i'm still my bias is bullish again if it goes down i'll sell i think i'm in a break even point um, i think i got in around here so I'm, I'm i'm similar to a break even point for ethereum i'm not in a profit or a loss i've not sold ethereum yet so if it breaks this low guys i'll probably get out or at least sell a big portion of my trade so this is uh, this is my thoughts on it guys it's sideways movement we're falling in equilibrium um if you look at the daily guys it's probably inside bars you can see it guys we're inside this big bar for for today as well for the fourth day running we're inside this bar so so it's not bullish not bearish but um i'd say my bias is to the bullish because of the moving averages and this big green pump that we've had bitcoin guys is potentially forming a bull flag you know what a bull flag is guys um and it's good to see that it's forming a bull flag actually i'll use my this is the chart that i used to trade so let me go on be a bit for next is slightly clearer few people complain i keep moving my charts too much and they can't see so it's still holding above the uh, 382 and it's forming a bull flag maybe an abc correction uh, we'll have to see how it plays out and i think maybe it could come down to here and then we have maybe a shakeout a spike down and then a big bull move that's my thoughts on it at least whenever you see a big move like this we've seen before it's usually the um, if you do Elliott wave theory it's usually there's a some relationship between the first wave up if it's an abc it should be like 618 or the 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 up move should be similar to that and and again we've had some downside movement we've had one wave up usually three waves so i'm expecting at least one leg higher guys so that's my thoughts on it and my targets i've shared with you my targets in um, I've got it in my other trading view account but I've got some targets one target is probably around here and the other target is that red box I'll pull it pull it around there um, 
yeah that would be if it can break that level that would be quite a big big level if it can break that again those are my long-term targets but let's see what it does at the top of the chain um because this will be a big resistance so that is how i'm looking to play the big coins guys with litecoin let's have a look at litecoin guys litecoin we talk about high lows and higher highs this was a big big anchor and it's potentially a head and shoulders as well if you look at it if you trade head and shoulders oh, yeah, it's really annoying when that happens potentially a head and shoulders as well guys and it's broke down it's broke broke through this neckline and it's lost the higher four hourly high low that is something a major thing i look at when i'm doing my technical analysis so um, for Litecoin, it's having some sort of a jump, but you can see there's no volume. I've actually exited a lot from my Litecoin position when it broke out. I tweeted about it when I exited it. You can check when I talked about it, this Litecoin, and it wasn't looking good for Ethereum as well. So what can happen now is I'll probably exit more if we do this. If we do this, I'll probably exit a lot more because that would be very bearish price action, and um, I'm not. I don't want to huddle. Um, I want to put my coins in the coins that are moving so that, that's my analysis for the bitcoins guys xrp there's not much happening on xrp guys the jumps in xrp has been a lot shallower than ethereum litecoin and even bitcoin guys um, you can see it's very very tight consolidation i'm not looking to trade it i made a video uh, yet yeah, my last video was about why xrp is not going up and um yeah it's not really looking that great for xrp um I'm not looking to trade XRP at all, so I'd, I'd leave that up to you guys. If you if you're an investor, you you've got a different strategy. But if you're a trader, I'm not really looking to trade um, XRP as of now. But I'll I'll, I'll make another video in my long-term perspective on on XRP. Um, maybe doing a head and shoulders again. I'll make, I'll make another long-term prediction for for XRP because it's not looking as good in XRP, guys. And it's a pattern that I really look out for a lot. So, guys, uh, that's the big coins. Let's have a look at some of the smaller coins. Um, I'll start off with my fan favorite. I've actually added BTT to my watch list. Uh, it takes a lot for coins to be added to my watch list. <laughs> I've added BTT on my watch list. So guys, I tweeted about this. This was like my bread and butter trade. Uh, when there's a big move, uh, sometimes you can't catch the big move. You catch the foot when it drops and starts moving up. I try to catch the bounce. I'm, I'm good at catching those bounces. Um, I've done a little bit of catching bounce here. You, you can see this trade. That was a nice 10, 20% trade for me. I shared it with you guys. Some of the people that follow me on YouTube uh, took that trade and they were fairly profitable. Um, you can check the BTT trades I've been taking. Um, I said to one of my followers, they were still buying BTT. I said this will be a massive, <laughs> that was just a funny tweet, guys. ICO versus reality. <laughs> um, I can't remember where the tweet is, guys. Um, I think it might be on this one. I said this will be a big resistance at 236 Fib level. And you can see, guys, to the tick, we stopped. And we dropped down about five, ten percent, about twenty percent almost. So, guys, yes, now it's still trying. I mean, I was surprised it, it held the moving averages. I've got a bias that it will dump. I've got a video prepared in the background, a pump and dump bit torrent video. Maybe I'll release it anyway and share with you my thoughts. That's why I've not really been trading it. But if it breaks this level, guys, I think it can touch that, uh, touch the previous highs. And if it breaks that, I'll, I'll, I'll buy BTT if it breaks that and gives me one of the setups I look for and um, you know I'll, I'll probably buy it but currently guys I'm seeing if it can break it if it can break it you, you could take a trade um, to for a 10 20 percent to see if it goes if you're still if you're still in this trade I wouldn't sell it now because you could still um it could still break higher because it, it held that 618 level brilliantly and then it moved up it broke out and then it gained another 20 30 percent so BTT is not looking that bad. It, it pains me to say it, and this was this was a nice setup for me. And um, that was another setup that I didn't take. Yeah, there's been some nice trades in BTT. I didn't take because of my bias, which is which is kind of shame. And um, Theta Coin is another coin that is looking well. It's not looking as good now, but it, it was it's a, it's a coin that I've been trading. And um, you, if you got to watch my previous videos, um, my trading analysis videos, old coins to break out. 
Theta was a coin that we were looking at. Theta has been doing quite well, as you can see. One key th simple thing that you can look out for is, is it above the moving averages and is it breaking into higher highs? You can see that it broke into higher highs and it gave us some really big gains. Why try and catch the bottom when you can get more pre predictive trades? Um, ICX is another coin I've been looking at. It's a coin that I like. It's trying to break up above it, as you can see, but it's kind of failing in the moving average sideways. We saw that massive bull move and then another push up. It's not doing that well. Neo, another coin that is better, way, way better. Um, I was hoping it can break that resistance but it's kind of struggling there we'll have to see what it does but this this will be resistance as well daily 200 moving average so maybe this will come down and then it might fail there but again that was a nice nice trade Neo is a coin that I, I've got bags of. I like it long term completely transparent guys TRX is breaking down um, TRX had a massive run and this is breaking down now this will be nice support uh, if it breaks down below, I wouldn't be looking to huddle. I've, I'm already out of my TRX, so I wouldn't be looking to huddle. Let me check some of the two couple of other coins. Aeon is a coin that's moving well. Let me talk about that. Um, I've, I'm quite. I've been really busy in uh, this week. I've, I'm not. That's why I'm not really releasing many videos. Um, if you have emailed me, guys, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I might not be making more videos this week, but I'll definitely make more videos at the, at the weekend or um, next week. So Aeon is trying to break that resistance. I can't remember who asked me to uh, look at this video. I think I looked at it a couple of days ago and I wasn't really interested. But if you look at it now, the volume increase. We've not seen volume like this since the start of the month. Um, it is looking really good. The volume's gone up and it's trying again to get up. It's, it's above the daily 20. Let's see what it does at the daily 50 and if it can hold above these uh, trend lines it's going to keep out keep a lookout for if it fails you might want to sell so Aeon is a coin that's been moving well and um, another coin arc someone mentioned Whoa, look at that coin there might be a good buy entry actually now although I don't like the massive pullback that would have been a good buy entry that would have been a really good buy entry And mm. um, now if it fails to make a new higher high and it breaks this level, I wouldn't be looking to buy ARK anymore. Finally, Zilliqa. Zilliqa is a coin. It's a really popular coin. Um, let me see what's going on with Zilliqa. It is forming higher lows and higher highs, I suppose. Sort of an ascending triangle is forming. It's not bad this one. I wouldn't look to buy it until it breaks above it, but yeah, it's not it's not too bad. Um Zilliqa. I'll keep an eye out for it guys. It's above the uh, four hourly moving average. It's fifty moving average I suppose would be up there. Yeah, it's not my it's not something I would I would look to trade. Is it at a key fib level? I suppose it's a uh, six one eight level. So yeah, if it breaks higher, guys, I might look to buy this. This will this could be a good trade potentially. This could be a nice potential trade. Keep an eye out for Zilliqa as well. It's not my strategy for now. Finally, Link is a coin that obviously you guys know I made a lot of money from this year. Link is trying again. Set that resistance. See if it can go above it. Because that, that's previous highs. If it can go above it, guys, you could look to for another trade. Or we could just have another small bounce. I'm not too hopeful on Link. The the, the massive pump that happened and the, the hype is kind of going down. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Just a quick update on some of the coins you want me to look at. If there are other coins you want me to look at, guys, let me know. I'm going to make some more fun videos I used to make. Uh, maybe I'll make some strategy videos as well of my setup and what I look for. I'll, I'll do it for free, guys. Um, I'll release it on YouTube. And some of the like trading thoughts of kind of the... It's not the strategy that makes you money. It's the psychological stuff and the experience and the hard work that makes you money. So maybe I'll make a video on that. And I'll try to make a fun video. So I'll make a video about 
about uh, not buying XRP on Binance because you could, you know, save some money on not doing it on Binance. So maybe I'll make a video on that. I'll just make some fun videos and I'll keep doing this technical analysis, guys. I think people really enjoy it. My core fans, uh, I get, I don't get as much views on technical analysis, but I think people enjoy it and respect it. So I'll keep doing them. So guys email me guys uh, for mentoring questions or any feedback any questions you've got or feedback of what videos you want me to make let me know guys in the comment section below or my email is below cryptoraco um, you can email me if you have any questions let me know guys uh, if there are any coins you want me to look at if there's any coins that are breaking out let me know on twitter you know aon is a coin that i wasn't looking at someone someone told me about it and it, it's looking good and i might be looking for it same as zilliqa it's a coin that i didn't really know about it's a it's a key resistance level it could go up so let me know if any altcoins you think could be breaking out and I'll keep you guys up to date. I'll try and do at least one or two videos by uh, this week. If not, I will be making more videos next week. And I'll be replying to all your emails. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Um, and turn on the notification button, guys. Um, that really helps me out, guys. If you turn on the notification button. If I help you in any way, I'd appreciate if you could turn on the notification button. Smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, guys, if you want to be in with a chance of winning $250 worth of XRP make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and in my next giveaway I will be um, helping you guys out with giving away $250 to potentially one lucky winner so thank you very much guys I hope you guys enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and let's see how the market plays out so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel see you guys soon with another great video Thank you very much.